So that I mean, they're steamrolling ahead. Wow. We're 28 years later, uh, it's actually been filming for three weeks already. So three weeks when you have, say, an average film production principal photography of like 12 weeks or so, that could be a quarter of the film. You know, this is an in well, sort of an indie based film. I, although I don't know how much Killian Murphy's uh, fee will be commanding now as he's an Oscar winner. Um, but yeah, so three weeks, that, that's a long time. That's a long, long time. And the quote is, they've been looking for extras for, quote, a horde of rage filled oh, wow. zombies. So they've been filming scenes across Newcastle, which... What? Horrors I mean, and rage filled yeah. zombies? I'm there. <laughs> I mean Newcastle, if you've if you've been there, uh, or anywhere up in the Midlands slash North in the UK, or basically anywhere in the UK, uh, it might as well be the post-apocalypse at this point in time because everywhere is a shithole in the UK at the moment. Um, but there you go, um, and they've been filming in Kilda Forest and Holly Island. I think this is good. I'm a bit, I'm a bit thrown off by the horde of rage-filled zombies business because I quite liked the sort of low-key element of uh, the first one. Twenty-eight days later, there was never like hordes and hordes and hordes of zombies. It wasn't like World War Z, was it? Yeah, but they were like quick you know? and freaky, weren't they? That was kind of what I, I, I. Okay, I'm gonna uh, full disclosure. I've never seen any of these movies, and you're gonna go like, okay. "What, Tom? You're a horror fan?" Well, I'm not exactly the biggest zombie fan. I think I've pointed this out before. I really only like the Romero zombie movies and any movies that are kind of connected with those, like the return of living dead and stuff. Never saw the 28 days or years later movies or months later. So maybe I'll check them out eventually. I know they're kind of out of print now too. That's the other thing, but just not a big zombie fan, but I'm glad to see the these fans are, are excited for this. So now these are good 20, 28 days later is a very good film yeah well, i'm sure they are i'm just not a zombie person i mean i don't what do i say i understand why people like them right mm. i'm just to me just i i like the night of the living dead dawn of the dead day of the dead return of the living dead one and two are okay a couple yeah. here and there well, are all right but you know uh, the 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 funny one with uh the the British guys, what's the hell is it called? Uh, Shaun of the Dead. No, I think of the name. Yeah. Um, that but, I mean, this, stuff, is, yeah. this essentially redefined the horror, the, the, the sort of zombie genre for the modern era. Um, it is genuinely well worth your time watching. I mean, it is what kicked off a whole bunch of new zombie movies because this did really well. People really liked it. Um, so Danny Boyle was coming back. Alex Garland is writing it. Danny Boyle is directing it. I'm less negative about alex garland being on it because i don't like alex garland's directorial stuff at the moment i think he's i think he's just a wanker basically i really dislike his directorial stuff um civil war it was terrible i hate it i'm not going to get into it but it was awful uh so i'm glad that he's just writing this and hopefully danny boyle will keep him on a straight and narrow um but here, here's some of the quotes right so for those that for those that don't know the reason why it's skipping 28 months and it's just going to 28 years is because they are genuinely trying to distance themselves from 28 weeks later um, because that's, they weren't involved in it. They're sort of trying to disown it. And it does make sense. You know, if they weren't involved in it, they're trying to get away from it. It makes a lot of sense. Hasn't it been like 20 years since the original one anyway? So you can kind of fudge it. Um say the first one come out in like the early 2000s yeah well it's not not quite 28 years but yeah so. no not 28 but close to 20 you can fudge it yeah yeah well regarding the start of filming the bbc reports that danny boyle has been filming scenes across the northeast of england newcastle killed a forest holly island in lindisfarne uh for the past few uh, three weeks so again that could be a, a whole quarter of the whole production basically it's reported Hundreds of locals have responded to a call for extras to play a horde of rage-filled zombies in a crowd scenes, uh, in crowd scenes, sorry, on the island. They were looking for athletic types to be doing a lot of running, says the reporter. Uh, and another older local says he was cast as an extra and they took photos of his hands, told him not to shave. 
with a dog, with shorts, all kinds of things. But he says he backed out at the last minute. I wouldn't shave with a dog with then. shorts either. Yeah, it's a it's a weird it's a weird. Oh, there's commas. Weird, my bad. Weird. Yeah, but it's still it's still weird. Doesn't matter like, with how the commas, do you it's still weird. Oh. Not to shave with a dog, comma with shorts, comma that, what? Anyway, whatever. It's, 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 so it's what is Cillian it? or Killian, however you say his name. He's a weirdo. Nah, kill, kill him if he's great. We, we, we don't know anything about this. Um, 28 weeks later, they were trying to repopulate, rebuild. Uh, and then, presumably, 28 years later, the zombie horde has overtaken, you know, gone from island to island and is essentially all over the world. That's what I would imagine. That makes a lot of sense. Um, otherwise, how's it going for a whole, you know, how's it going for 28 years? But this is such an iconic image, uh, especially with, you know, Killian Murphy in, uh, what's it, in um, in London as well, just the dead streets. It's, it's a great film, and I'm excited for this. I think this will be good. Um, but, yeah, thoughts, culture? I'm looking forward to seeing the film. Um, as soon as it's done shooting, I mean, it, it, this is one of those I don't want to wait for because I like, I like the idea of these films. Um, like Tom though, I'm worried about the horde. <laughs> I'm not really sure, you know, uh, that is, uh, <coughs> the, the right direction to go. But again, I mean, it's, I'm not the filmmaker and Danny Boyle is, a you know, it was likely to give us something good. And there's a reason why they are trying to distance themselves from the last film. So. Um, I think I'll probably see this and review it just as it comes out. And um, you will, because I'll tell you. Yeah. Thing. Well, I would do it anyway, but it's it, just because I want it to be good. I mean, the, these these are the kind of movies I like. I like like horror movies. I like zombie films. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think this will be decent. Hopefully, I th I, I think it's hopefully. not that much longer in the shooting scale either. If it, they've already been at it, you said three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. Yeah. So they they've got to be well on it. So maybe another two I mean, or three weeks. weeks is the average. So yeah, yeah. But this is a horror movie. Is it? Uh, I guess he's mm -hmm. doing lots of locations. So. I was saying that all depends on what they're shooting exactly. Yeah, yeah. If you can shoot a, a low budget film sense. with a lot of practical stuff. Yeah. Four or five weeks, easy. Yeah, yeah well, that's what I mean. Danny, I mean, Danny Boyle is a seasoned director. He'll, that's he'll, what I'm he'll saying, be, yeah. Be down tight, so this will almost, almost be done. Uh, Sci-Fi Quest has tipped $1. It says, I'm with Tom. I like the classics. I feel that the zombies have been played out with The Walking Dead and others. Abigail was yeah. a good movie, but would rather watch Let Me In Again. I'll just watch Resident Evil, not another 28 movie. No, I hear you, I brother. Not, I don't fault people. It was a, it, 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 It's run its course, I think. So we'll see how this movie does, but we have this thing every few years. It's either vampires or vampires and werewolves and then zombies and you know, whatever the next thing is. And then it just recycles. So get ready for yeah. twilight yeah. all over again. Uh, Israel R super chat $5 says Mr. H. I also like, uh, I also like small sets of infected versus large hordes. I think it's more claustrophobic. Like it's more claustrophobic because you're like, well, they could be anywhere. Whereas when there's large halls, you know where there are. Well, you know what you know where they are. So, uh, by the way, is it zombies, as in dead people, reanimated corpses, or rage infected living people? I don't That's know if they really. Question. I don't. I don't think they ever really um, specif ah, specified. I it, think they just died. Most, zombies has kind of been overused, uh, and it doesn't it, really mean. No, I think they, what I we think use they were it. dead. I think they're, I'm they're just saying, game. like, the actual definition of a zombie in comparison to the living dead. That's why Romero never used the word zombie. Because mm. um, at that time, zombie was more associ associated with, like, the voodoo stuff and all that kind of business. But, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the the yes, well, it's, a, it's, a, it's a rage virus. So they're sort of. It's mindless. So it's kind of more along the lines of like uh, Last Man on Earth. Then is what you're saying. It's not exactly a zombie, per se. It's... No, but it. Yeah, no. I mean, no, but it sort of is. But sort. Of, I mean, it, yeah. I mean, it. Yeah. Similar traits, not but not exactly. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. 
Um, but anyway, there you go. Uh, oh. We will shuffle on from that now. It, 